What's up? How y'all doing? It's Jared. It's gonna be the first in a series of four videos. It's gonna be my knife collection. It's currently August 13th, 2018. I'm gonna start off with the Bally Songs. This is from Rannick Knives. I picked it up on Amazon for about 17 bucks. It's a, you know, Benchmade 42 kind of CCC trainer ripoff. And I picked this one up. I mentioned in the video the actual, hold on. Yep, got to figure out my placement. In the actual review video for this one here, right? And I still think this is the best flipping trainer you can buy for, you know, I mean, even even for the money. Even, yeah, I paid $17 again for this one. And if you're going to be paying $50 for a trainer, I still think this thing is going to flip better. It's not to say that it is better. It's not going to hold up. It's going to fall apart. I don't have the confidence in that thing not breaking in the same way that I would some other knives, you know, other higher end, better design trainers, but I still really like the way that that one flips. And this one too, this thing actually flips pretty good as well. You can see the SEMA is the actual name on this. I got this one off of Amazon. I think I paid a little bit more for it. I'm going to be doing a review on this one as well as the green one up there, but it this is just kind of clanky. It's more teeny, you know, this thing just doesn't seem as nice. It's kind of a it's definitely a good flipper, you know what I mean? For the money, for what you get, I, I do think that that's a good knife, but it's interesting. Got some things to say about it. Look at this thing. I picked this one up because I had to. This is from a video game. People are going to be mad that I don't remember what video game that it's from, but I've got some interesting thoughts I'm going to put on video about that one there. Here's a Boker. Boker $50 Ballet Song Trainer. I carried this one around for a while. This was like my EDC go-to trainer, and it still is. I rotate between this one and this one here, the Tachyon ripoff. I rotate between those, but I definitely like the Boker. Squiddy. I'm going to be doing a video on this one, too, because I got some things I want to say about this thing. This is... This is good stuff. This is good stuff. And it's not a good flipper. It's not a good flipper. It's not. It's it. It's expensive for what it is. But I, I I've got some reasons on why I think this thing is freaking amazing. Sweetie trainer. This is a Baron Sons. No Bear Ops. Bear Ops B four hundred. Four hundred trainer with my paint job. I sanded the scales down and painted the blade orange. That's all my doing. That's why it didn't hold up. Looks like shit. Alright. Out of the trainers. Out of the Benchmades. What's up, Benchmade 87? Come on. Focus in. There we go. Benchmade 87. This is a first production run, number 79 out of 400. <coughs> just chopper. Ha! Just a straight hacking knife. That thing's dope. I really, <laughs> I really like that knife. Next one's Benchmade 63, which is the buoy opposed from the, uh, come on, standard Weehawk blade design, Weehawk design. I think this is probably, this is my favorite ballet song out of all of them. If I could get a 42 T latch, I think. A 42 T latch may take the cake. I've never, but I've never messed with one. You never played with one, so I don't know. This is a Benchmade 51 with flitanium solid V6 flitanium scales with a busted up tip. I have to re tip it again, again, and it's starting to, you know, get some wear on the blade there. You know, it's starting to get a little bit of personality. That's kind of my beater. Benchmade 32. Recently discontinued. It's a cool knife. Sixteen zero one fifty one sixteen zero one Blade HQ exclusive. Look at that stone wash. Ha! Nah, I can't get over that. I just love the way that that... It's so freaking pretty, isn't it? The fact that you can make steel look like that, you know, you can have steel look like all of these crazy things. This is all the same material. It's got a different, you know, alloy content, but it's all the same material. Look at the difference in the finish on that. Sorry. 
that's some knife nerd going off there, but it's just gorgeous, isn't it? And my little pride and joy. Recently acquired. This is either a PCC Model 10, Pacific Coast Cutlery Model 10, which is pre bench made, or a bench made Model 30, produced in California back when they were in Hollywood, California. I don't actually know what it is, but it's legit and it's just. Beautiful. It's not in absolutely excellent condition. The latch doesn't quite hold tight anymore, you know. There's a ding on it, right? Somewhere right there. You can see a little bit of a ding, but just stainless steel, stainless steel channel constructed handles. This is old school right there. That's that's old school bench made. Great knife. Good finish too. I like that almost mere polished stone wash that they've got on this blade. I was so happy when I got my hands on that one. More Baron Sons. This is a B350. Three and a quarter inch. I got this one from Chris the Bally Guy here on YouTube. Check him out. It's really good with a Bally song. Bear Ops B200. G10. It's got a stainless steel uh, backspacer in there for the weight, but overall G10 construction. Those are my tang pins, replacement tang pins. It didn't come with brass tang pins, but I love that blade shape. This arrived today, actually. This is a Bear Ops 114th. It's a Bear Ops 114th with stainless steel handles. I saw them coming out with this. Oh, stainless steel. I had to pick it up. Look at how canted that blade is. <laughs> you see that? It's like bent forward. It's freaking ridiculous. But I mean, shit. I paid less than 60 bucks for this. Stainless steel. I'll be doing a review on that one eventually. That's like my new go-to beater. Microtech Tachyon Stormtrooper. That's a good looking knife. I like the Tachyon. This is a Tachyon 3 Venom. Number 69. It's entertaining. BRS replicant. Standard replicant. I put the pocket clip on there. That's a cool knife. CCC. A little black CCC thing. USA design made in China. I did that to the blade, to seeing if I could heat treat it, harden it up a little bit, which did not work. This is a what Nathan Dewey custom gremlin, two inch blade, California legal, little custom G10 Bally song. It was originally a Warren Cliff, but I busted the tip. And so I had to reprofile it. I gave it that kind of, you know, eh, come on, a little bit of an upsweep there. You can see it's not a straight edge. I did that. So definitely a good looking knife. Cool little thing. My California Legal. California Legal Ballet Song. This is my Franken song. It's actually like three different ballet songs put together. Got the blade, the handles from all different sets. The latch came from something else, but cool little knife. This thing, I don't know what this is. I bought it in a store in a box that didn't have a name on it. I paid $30 for it. It's incredibly heavy. I've seen this marketed as the heavy hitter ballet song. I've seen this marketed as 
uh, what is it, the Thug, Thug Bally song. I've seen this, this, this particular design here has been marketed from several different companies under several different names, and I actually don't know which one I have. There's no markings on it or on the packaging. But for the money, for $30, it's heavy. You know, thug or, you know, heavy hitter is definitely proper terminology for this thing because it's fat and it's heavy and it thick blade stock. You know what I mean? In comparison to pull up the, you can see just how, I mean, it's ridiculously thick blade stock in comparison to this replicant. And the replicant has a thick blade for a Bally song, you know, so it's just definitely a heavy knife. But for $30... I, I, I like it. I think that's a good deal. Brass Blades B3. And this thing is not running any better, and I've found out the reason why. It's not the blade that's actually canted off as much. The problem is the handles. You can see that? The handles don't line up. And so if this handle, if the safe handle here lined up with the, the bite handle, it would be, you know, it would actually be centered, but it's not because the handles are misaligned, which is just a strange thing. This, this, yeah, which is horrible because this knife does not deserve the reputation that it's got. This knife has a horrible reputation in the Valley Song community, and I do not think it deserves it at all. I think that this knife, yeah, I've got some other, I've got some stuff to say about this knife, so I'll be doing a review on that in the future once it actually does get fixed, you know, and it's up and running and I can actually get a proper appreciation for it. I'll be doing a video on that one. And the last, and kind of least, but not really, check this thing out, look at this little functioning latch, and it's got a little lever on it, a little tiny thing, pull it out. Well, unfolded, I guess. Little brass. It's all brass. Brass construction. Little brass blade. The latch, actually. If I can get it to close. The latch will function in the closed position as well, maybe. There we go. Just a... I don't know. <laughs> you can find these. Online, you can find them around the life shops and stuff. I just think it's cool. Well, that's it. It's a Bally Song Collection, August 13th, 2014, or 2018. 2014, what the crap? 2018. I ordered the Tonto version of this today. The Bear Ops Stainless Steel 114 Tonto instead of the Bowie. So that one's going to be on its way, but that's it. Y'all have a good one.